Hi guys, welcome back to part 3 of the August tour video. So we did part 1 and 2. P to S now, this is part 3. I have a lot of T's in here and as well here. So that's why uh, I have a little description to here. Okay, so let's get started. Alright, you might not see this one very well. Uh, this is um, Jade. This is an 8 inch female Pomphibidius antinus, the steely blue leg that I got from uh, Nicolo85 awesome transaction couldn't be happier alright here's another Pompidius this one here is a Platyama male Nicola measures around 5 inches Ooh, and I just feel the hairs from the species uh, I don't like these hairs very much on the Pompidius but they're generally easy to keep just keep them very humid. Here's a 5 inch female uh, Paraphyza species. Really don't know what it is. This is Bailey. Uh, she doesn't like really super rooms much. She prefers crickets. So I really got to fatten her up a bit. But she's cool. She looks like a Chaco. Except with a blue carapace and a red abdomen. Hmm. This might even be a cobalt red rump. But I'm not really sure if it is. Alright, this one I'm not going to open up the lid because she's pacing like a mad hornet. Uh, this is a Formictopus cancerides. Haitian brown bird eater, Isabella. And right now it's around a 4 inch female. About a... Almost about a year and a half now. She was... At the time she was a half an inch spiraling. Grows so quickly. Alright, here is a Polinobius uh, muticus. Formerly known as uh, C. Crescehi. King Baboon. Oh uh, yeah, this looks, like, this looks like it'd be a female. Uh, right now it's around two and a half inches. She must have molted. Wow, she's grown big now. Yeah, not anymore see the crochet he. Now, pokey time. Sweet. Okay, so here is a P. Fasciata. It's Sri Lankan ornamental named, um, I think Jen. But I might have to change it because this one might be a male. This one I'm not going to disturb too much. Uh, this is uh, P. Formosa female, uh, Salem ornamental, named Salem. Mature female around 6 inches. Uh, very likely to be in pre molt. I can see she makes a lot of webs, just like the uh, P. Peterson and I did. So uh, she's absolutely beautiful and very fat too. Here's Sonic. Mature male, Pocotheria metallica, Goody sapphire ornamental. Just love the blue. Wow, just 10 minutes after I noticed my P. metallica molting, she's doing it right now. That's Mia. So I'm not disturbing her. Wow, she's really cool. We might actually see some blue. Okay, next one is uh, P. Miranda. Bingo ornamental. This is right now a five inch, four and a half inch, five inch female. Yeah, she's monster. She's monstrous, guys. Wow. Just love the colors on the Bengal spotted. Okay, here is an Ornata unsexed. I found her molting, or him. Oh, there he is. Wow, look at those colors on these ornatas. Just amazing. Alright, here is uh, Pocothera Petersoni, Ghost Ornamental. This one here is a... likely to be a male. So you can see his legs are right there. Uh, the one I'm going to show you is not mine. This is King Baboon 85's. He's going to uh, pick it up this weekend. Medusa. Uh, you failed me. Oh well. We'll try you again when that one matures. Hopefully that's a mature male. Because I would like to try that species again. Okay, next one here is uh, P. Regalis, Indian Ornamental. I have two of them. Uh, here is Pandora. 
We're right over here. Uh, she's probably around six and a half, maybe seven and a half inches. Made a big burrow. And here is Zelda, the new uh, P. Regalis uh, female that I got for free. And uh, yeah, she's just chilling there. Awesome pokey. Uh, here is Caitlin, um, P. Rufalata female, red site ornamental. Very hard to make up, but you can see the yellow. Yeah, she's moving. Right now, she's probably around a five and a half inch. Yeah, these things grow up to 10 inches, so they're really big pokies. All right, next up is uh, P. Striata, the Mysore ornamental. This one here is uh, Darcy, most likely to be a male. And here's Sora. Supposedly female. Who knows? Okay, here's Allison, uh, P. Smithy female. Or, no, unsexed really. Haven't really sexed it yet. Yellow backed ornamental, extremely rare. Now for some Safuscas. This is the Safuska Highland. This is candy, about an inch and a half sling. And uh, here is Charmaine. It's a lowland. This is a bigger one. There she is. Wow. My absolutely favorite pokey. As you can see, these are really light sensitive. They just do not like light. And the last pokey I have Pocotheria tigrina wesseli, the Wessel tiger ornamental. Looks like a Miranda and a Formosa. <laughs> As you can see, another fast one. Next here is a Samopoas Camerjai, Trinidad Chevron. Mature female, named Trinity. Here's Josie. Uh, this is a P. Armenia female. Measures around 4 inches. <laughs> yep, pretty fat. Over here I got a Samopoas Polter, Pema Blonde. And a 4 inch female, she's over here. All right, some other pet holes of mine. Uh, this is, uh, let's see, it's hard, this one here, Turnicellus Ligardi, Fort Hall Baboon, all the way in the back. And here is Carmela OBT. Well, maybe you should just make her out. See the legs right there. All right, so that's all the P's that I have. Now for the S's. Here is a Salinotypus uh, species Golanalva. The Australian uh, Gonaba Blonde Whistling Tarantula. It's around a two inch uh, unsexed. You're not going to see this one here. Uh, this is uh, Solino Cosmina species uh, Eva. This is one of the jumbo females that I got from Tarantula Canada. I did make a video when I transferred her. Uh, she's the one that makes the dot X X. She's underneath here, so I'm not going to disturb her. And the last one here, Stramatopelma calciatum, the feather leg baboon. Hmm, <laughs> very scary. Alright, guys, so that's part three. Hope you enjoyed it, and stay tuned for the last and final part.